Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Bryn Saito from her collection Power Made a Swoon, published by Red Hand Press in 2016. Um, this poem is midway through the collection and is entitled Stone Returns 70 Years Later. The hotel's quiet as a teapot. The storm's thirty miles east, her mother's sleeping beside her father, their bodies barely touching. She drops me into her left pocket and slips into the night to stand in the field and summon ghosts. How to ask her to be so still, the desert flowers coalesce around her like sky's chorus at dawn. She can't. She paces the length of the barrack blocks, the dead weight of midnight, like a sea she can breathe in. Her thumb and forefinger smooth my body for certainty's sake, but no matter, I'm worn. I'm tired of their histories. When I dream, I dream of silence so vast and expansive it packs tight the space beneath the canopy of stars. It bears down like hail. It threatens to swallow. What I have of a heart skips beats, the long pauses between them turning to ash. Um, and that was Stone Returns 70 Years Later by Bryn Saito from Power Made a Swoon. Um, Red Hen Press 2016. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet Bryn Saito, um, as well as more information about this series and where to pr purchase the book, a number of projects I'm working on, a variety of things. Anyways, by all means, do check out the description of the video. Um, and uh, I think what else could I say? If you like what I'm doing overall, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. You'll be notified every time that there's a new video that's uploaded, which tends to be every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, I enjoy working on this project. It's been a great pleasure to spend, um, <coughs> feels like almost two years working on this. I started, uh, I started at the beginning of the pandemic. <coughs> And uh, I've had the great pleasure to, to read and celebrate the work of many poets over this time period and look forward to continuing this project um, through the months and perhaps, who knows, um, years to come. Um, I have a lot of books. I always purchase new books and acquire new books from other poets. And I'm always interested in hearing from you. If you are a poet with a book out um, and would like to be featured, uh, contact me uh, by email or send me a message via Facebook or YouTube, and uh, I'll do my best to find a way to work in uh, your work. Um, and I, I think in general, um, that's probably about it for us this time. Uh, wishing you all the very best in your own creative pursuits, uh, hoping that you find joy in your writing and in the writing of others, and uh, strive uh, as best as you can to, to be a part of a community, um, to be part of sharing and imagining and, and believing, really, in the value of what we do. Uh, sometimes it may feel like we are speaking to the void. Uh, sometimes we might feel like we write something and it sits uh, alone in a shelf in a book somewhere um, and might feel forgotten. But um, every time we write, every time we set things down on paper or open our mouths to the world, um, it is heard by someone somewhere out there, perhaps not in the very moment, perhaps it covers the span of time and arrives somewhere on a distant shore in someone's distant ear. But the words that we write down, the dream or the vision or the emotion that we encounter can have the power to bridge and to connect us to each other. And even, even if it is just for us to feel like we are part of that larger conversation, it is often enough to start that path, to feel like we have participated, we have been engaged. I'm grateful for the power of language and grateful for poetry and grateful for all of you who come and check out this channel and enjoy these readings um, and stick around to the end to my little bit of blather at the end of each episode. Um, and I hope that you will be back again soon uh, to check out the rest of the videos that are coming. 
Um, so until next time, stay safe and well, keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged in the good work of poetry and literature and art and find ways to contribute. And, uh, I will do the same and I'll be back again with more poetry and more readings, um, very soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.